Hello everyone, uh, today we will cover the second lab of learning solid edge and in this lab we're going to try to do this drawing which is looks like a, a boomerang uh, it has, uh, we have circle, two circle here 10, 20, 15, 30, 10, 20 and the distance from the center to the center is 60 60 so let's move forward and try to do the job okay so now we will open solid edge we'll go to new new and since the dimensions are in metric so i'm going to use the millimeter dimension and then we're going to click on the part now the, the 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 view that has the most dimensions is the front view so i'm going to click on the front view and i'm going to start with the circle by center i'm going to start with the center circle which is 30 so i'm going to put 30 here so this will be in the 30 in this location and actually what i'm going to do i'm going to just get rid of the cord axis so I'm going to move this one bigger a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to put another circle by center. And the dimension here should be 15. If we, if we highlight the circle, so the, the, the center should show up. And then we're going to click on the center. Now if I move horizontally from the center, you can see the dashed line means that they are oriented and then the dimension is 10 so i'm going to put or 20 i'm going to put 20 click and then i have another one 10 in the same center so i'm going to highlight here so you have this the the, the, the center here and i'm going to say 10 enter i'm going to click here and also <coughs> okay uh, also i can put uh, another circle this circle here and a bigger circle which is 20 enter in the same center of the other circle okay so now the first thing and you know, we need to make the dimension from the center here to the center here okay let's put the dimensions first so this dimension should be 20 good this dimension should be 10 good this dimension should be 30 15 sorry and this dimension should be 30 this dimension should be 10 and the other one is 20 okay so now the dimension between this circle to this circle here from the center here should be 60 so i'm going to put 60 And the same thing also, the dimension from the circle here to the center of the circle here should be 60. So I'm going to put 60. Okay. So I'm going to make it fit. And also I'm going to draw a center line between these. So I'm going to put the center line here. So I'm going to choose a line. And then I'm going to make it a center line. I'm going to click here and choose a center line. Mm, which one should look nice? This looks nice. Okay. So I'm going to draw a center line from the circle here. You highlight the circle. You are in the center. And then I'm going to draw it. This is a center line. And right click. And then go to the center here again. And. And here is another line. Okay. Now the angle between angle between this line and this line should be 120. So I'm going to make 120. Good. Now I need to draw another circle tangent to this circle. So, which is, has the same diameter 30. So I'm going to say center 
a circle tangent circle and I'm gonna put the tangent or I can do I can draw a line and this line is gonna be solid okay okay so this line from the center here and it has a, a dimension 30 enter when the angle should be 60 and now I'm gonna get a circle by center and I'm gonna put the circle of the on the circle here is 30 diameter and I'm gonna put it at the tip of the line I'm gonna click here and I should create another circle which will be tangent to the other circle here now I don't need the line anymore so I'm gonna highlight select the line and just delete it okay so far so good now we need to create the boomerang shape so what we're gonna do we're gonna get the line and try to draw a tangential line and to draw a tangential line between the big the outside circles just you, you pick any point and you move with it till it touch and to become a tangential and touching to this other circle so you click when you see the two symbol it means it means that it is tangent and it should be you know it from the symbol uh, circle and the x in it we'll do the same thing for the other one uh, again don't use uh, like a, a feature point means like the uh, a point like at the edge toward the edge or another point toward the edge or a point that parallel to another location because the computer will try to fix it to this way I need to choose any point that it can move with me so okay so I'm going to say okay I need a, a, a point here see it move with me till I come here tangent when I see tangent and touch it, the two symbols I'm going to click and I should have circle with an x on it a circle with an x in it so i was done with the curvature for the outside now we need to do the other curvature so i'm going to go to a line so i'm going to go here and then you go move with me and it should be tangent to the outside circle so you see ten okay here it is you see the two symbol you click so now i'm right click to get out i'm going to go to the other circle here and it's going to move with me I'm going to go to this one circle here. I'm going to go click on tangent. Okay, now I'm done. Now we need to start cleaning the, the, the shape we have. So we'll go to what? You go to trim. So point at trim, click trims. Now we're going to highlight this part. You're going to get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this circle here and the other circle here. This one and this one too this one and the other one too and the other one here okay okay maybe I need to zoom more to make it bigger so I can trim yeah okay make it fit so now we got the shape so I'm gonna go back to home and all what I need to do now is get extrusion and we need to find out what is the dimension and the thickness is 5 so I'm gonna go back and we get extrusion I'm gonna make it symmetry it doesn't matter actually and have a face so you have a choices either face or a chain or single so I'm gonna use face so I'm gonna get oh I see what happened okay so I'm gonna use this face I'm gonna have the shift key so I'm gonna click this one and click the other one and make it symmetry and then right click on the face here and uh, then okay when I make it symmetry you click here so it's gonna be symmetry okay so now the dimension is 5 so I'm gonna put 5 enter so I'm done with the shape and if you want to look at in the in the in the way how it looks so this we 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 done with the the shape we have okay and this will end our session for today 
I would like to thank you for watching the video and I would love to hear your feedback and if you have any constructive input that will improve the quality of the video and the tutorial please uh, feel free to email me or to get in touch with me uh, if you like the video please subscribe to the channel click the bell and give it the video a thumb thank you and have a wonderful day